Good Friday morning, friends. I'm Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day on this Friday. I know that you're having a great day today as you prepare for the weekend. Please don't forget to join us Sunday morning, bright and early, 8 o'clock for our worship, 9.15 for Sunday school, then 10.30 for worship. If you can't make it to, to us, then you can watch online. Go to our website, right here on Facebook or YouTube. You can find our services at those times and, and join us live if you want to. But I'm so glad you're here today. As we continue to journey through Philippians chapter 3, pick up in verse 17. Remember, we've been talking about joy because this letter is all about joy. Paul's telling us how to have joy. And one of the ways we do that is having that same mind that was in Christ Jesus, having the, the like mind with our brothers and sisters in Christ. But look at what he says in verse 17. Brethren, join in following my example, and note those who so walk as you have us for a pattern. For many walk, of whom I have told you often, and now I'll tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who set their mind on earthly things. Now, here's what Paul's talking about. When he talks about walking, he's talking about the way that you live your life. To walk was about lifestyle. It was about your character, who you were. And Paul, throughout his, his, his letters, always says, follow me, follow my example. Wouldn't it be great to, to feel comfortable in doing that and tell people, follow my example? Because Paul was saying, if you follow my example, then what you're ultimately doing is following the example of Jesus, because that's what Paul was doing. Paul was following Jesus' example. He was inviting others to follow him by living out the life that Christ would have him to live. Others could follow the same example in Christ. I know that uh, is a roundabout way of, of saying this. But he says, this is what I want you to do, to, 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 to follow my example. But he says, you've got to be careful because there are people out there who are claiming to be Christians, who are claiming to be believers, who are claiming to walk the walk and talk the talk, but they really aren't. They are trying to deceive. Their, their focus is on taking care of themselves. Their, their focus is on getting all that they can. And we see this all the time in, in our society today. How many television evangelists have, have, uh, have been caught uh, doing things that they shouldn't have done to, to get money, get people to give to them? And we see so much uh, abuse uh, of people's trust in that area. And, and we see it in local churches as well. But here's the thing. When we focus on who is living the kind of life that Christ would have us to live, what we do is we look to the ones who are teaching the word, preaching the word, and following the word, living that example. Because it's one thing to say, hey, you got to do this, and then they do the opposite thing. They do something totally different. And that way you recognize they're false teachers. They're, they're not leading in the right way. But a lot of these people are so very deceptive. And the only way that you can recognize this is you have to carefully examine the lifestyle that they're living. But here's what Paul says. If we want to truly have joy, we've got to follow his example because he's following Christ's example. And this is the reason. He says, for our citizenship is in heaven from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body, that it may be conformed to his glorious body, according to the working by which he is able even to subdue all things to himself. So, are the people you're following focused on themselves, focused only on this life and what you can get out of it, or are they focused on what awaits us in our relationship with the Father, what awaits us, when we get to heavenly places. I think that's a, a, a big key in living a joyful Christian life is understanding we're just passing through this life. We're not citizens here. We're citizens of the kingdom of heaven. And that changes everything. I hope you have a great day today. Focus on the kingdom and watch what God does in your life. God bless. See you back here Monday.